Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, Pete, thinking about a trip down to the beach no. this afternoon. Well, you asked, you, you asked me that at the commercial, so okay. I sort of changed around my weather forecast. Just I for wanted, me? Yeah, I wanted nice. to include some graphics which uh, had things you were interested in, because yes. I assumed others might be interested. What a in guy. Thing. This is I'm great. a nice guy. A personalized, customized forecast. Anytime you want, just ask me. I'll okay. put whatever you want in there. Narrowing right. the beach. Yeah, Go right on. now, live pinpoint Doppler 12. I know this is not what you asked for, but uh, we're scanning the skies over southern New England, not finding really any precipitation. All Although the skies have looked rather dark out there this morning. Okay, here's where we get to Patrick's question. This is Narragansett Beach, the Coast Guard house is where we have a camera. And here's what it looked like over the past hour. Not the best beach day in the world, but we were noticing lots of people still out at the beach. Some mist, fog, low clouds. We are expecting at least some sunshine as we go into the afternoon. Certainly not a complete blue sky, but not the worst beach day in the world either. In fact, I've put together a three-day forecast, a little bit of a bonus for you today. Today, we'll call it partly sunny, 81-year high temperature, the slight chance of a late thunderstorm. More likely, though, those storms would stay inland. Saturday, 88 degrees. Sunday, 87. We'll see a land breeze for much of the weekend, and that will allow those beaches to warm up. And just wait until you see those inland temperatures I'm forecasting. Down City Providence, still very gray out there. Temperature, 82 degrees. Those winds out of the southwest at nine miles an hour. Here is our satellite picture. You can see many of us still socked in with the clouds right now, but notice a little bit of the thinning action going on with the clouds, and I do expect more and more, more of this as we go into the afternoon, although again, it won't be a completely sunny day or anything like that. Cold front already popping up some thunderstorms here in upstate New York. This front swings through as we go into this evening, bringing in the chance of some strong storms. Any of these could have some heavy downpours, gusty winds, so it's something we will Watch out for between about 6 and 10 p.m. this evening. There could be a few that slip through a little earlier. And again, the primary threat would be in northwestern Rhode Island. As for this afternoon, we'll call it mostly cloudy within the next half hour. Temperature 86 degrees, getting up to 88 by around 3 o'clock, 87 by 5 p.m. I actually should knock down this temperature a little bit to the low 80s. But I do expect some warming to occur by the late afternoon. How warm? Well, 89 Pawtucket, 88 Rumford, North Providence. Once we clear out some of these clouds, getting up to 88 and downtown, a high temperature of 88. A little further down to the south, Warwick gets up to 87, Cranston 88. It'll get rather breezy by the uh, late afternoon as that front starts to approach. And of course, if you get under one of those thunderstorms, it will be downright gusty with some gusts possible over 30 miles an hour. But most of the day between about 10 and 15, some gusts up to 20. 82 in Charlestown today, 83 westerly because those winds will start to turn off of the water. It will be cooler at the coast today. Big, di big difference between the coast and our inland temperatures. Foster could get up to 90, Burville 90, Johnson 88 degrees, and out across eastern Massachusetts. Temperatures in Seacock getting into the mid to upper 80s, Fall River 87, cooler here along the coast with low 80s and partly sunny skies. Overnight, a storm is still possible, some patchy fog, temperatures 70 to 73 degrees. And in that seven-day future cast, here comes the heat, 94 I have for Saturday, Sunday 93 degrees. There will be a chance of a thunderstorm on Saturday night into Sunday morning, but most of your weekend is dry and hot. Monday, 91 degrees with a chance of some showers and storms. So it looks like another heat wave on the way. Remember, to get a heat wave, you need three consecutive days of at least 90 degrees. Cox Digital Cable Channel 125 is the place to go. Maybe you're tired of the heat, you want to sit inside in the air conditioner and watch this channel, you can uh, do that too. But if you're heading to the beach this afternoon, some sunshine, but still some clouds too. Thank you for that custom no forecast, Pete. That was Anytime. awesome, man. Yeah. Now here's All a look right. of what we're working on for Eyewitness News.